So you just got a dartboard and now you want to learn how to throw darts. You're in the perfect spot because in this one, I'm going to go over what I think are the most important basics to how to throw the dart for a new dart player. But first, guys, if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. The more bull shot darts you watch, the more 180s you'll hit. And especially if you're a new darts player, it'll help you get better at darts. And also drop this video a thumbs up. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here for new dart players is you need to make sure that you are having fun. When you first start throwing darts, you're not going to be that good. It's going to be hard to hit your targets. And if you're trying to play too hard of games or challenge yourself too much, you're not going to get the fun out of the game and you might end up give up playing. So my advice for this one is to make sure that you are starting with easier games. Go check out my video, the top five dart, dart games for beginner dart players, because there's some really good games on there. Oh, my darts are off today. There's some really good dart games on there that'll help you as a beginning dart player to get into the sport. And also, don't overthink your darts throw. There is no right way to throw a dart. So if you're overthinking the mechanics too much, it could mess you up and your darts might not get better. So my first bit of advice for your throw is going to be that you need to do what is comfortable for you. I have a lot of videos on here where I talk about more advanced stuff as far as your throw goes. But as a new darts player, you don't want to overthink all that stuff yet. Start throwing, do what's comfortable for you, have some fun, and then from there, you can work on the fine tuning of your darts throw. So in this one, here we go. We're going to talk about what I think are the most important basics as far as mechanics go for your darts throw. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is going to be your stance. You need to have a strong foundation for your darts throw, just like a tall building. You need to make sure you have a strong foundation to your building to make sure that everything else above is going to be working right. So for your stance, you don't want to stand with both of your feet at the line pointing directly towards the dartboard. I'm not going to show my feet because this really isn't that important because I have some people ask me like, how do I stand at the line? Should I have my toes pointing to the board? Should I have my toes pointing to the side parallel to the board? And this is one of those things that all boils down to what is comfortable for you. So me personally, I stand with my foot at an angle, but I know people that stand with their lead foot pointing the board. And I know people that have their lead foot pointing directly to the side. So the most important thing is to make sure that you have your dominant foot forward with your toes on the line, whatever angle is comfortable for you works. And then you want your non-dominant leg behind you. You want most of your weight on your front leg and just a little bit on your back. The most important part here is to make sure that you are balanced. So when I stand here like this, I'm balanced. I don't feel any swaying or anything like that. And when I pick up my dart and throw it, it doesn't throw me off balance. My foundation is not moving. My whole body is staying still while I'm throwing my dart. So this all comes down to the less things that we have moving on our body, the less room there's going to be for mistakes. So with the very strong foundation, you're going to be able to hold a lot still, which is going to be important. The last thing you want is, has, is have an unbalanced stance. And now when you throw, you're leaning a little bit, you're wobbling a little bit, you're kicking up your back leg when you throw. You don't want that. You want to make sure that you have a very solid stance that's balanced, that stays still even during your throw. So stance, make sure it's balanced and make sure that it is comfortable for you. The next part <coughs> that we're going to talk about here is how to hold the dart. Now, there's a lot of things I can talk about how to hold the dart in this video, and I will be making a video on how to hold the dart. So don't overthink this one. Do what is comfortable for you. Stand at the line, pick up your dart, bring it up to your face to aim, and just see how you naturally end up holding the dart. Because usually, that's what's going to be the best for you because that's what you find comfortable. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not so you don't miss that grip video. But also to build on this, there is one thing that I will say about the grip, and that is that you just want to make sure that your dart is facing the dartboard. So do what's comfortable for you, but you want your dart facing the dartboard. So let's pretend that you guys are the dartboard and I'm facing you. When I hold my dart up, my dart is pointing directly at the dartboard. You don't want an angle in there because when you release your dart, you're going to have inconsistencies and your dart is not going to fly straight every single time. So with your grip, do what's comfortable for you. 
and make sure that the tip is facing the dartboard. The next thing we're going to talk about, and this is actually the last thing we're going to talk about, is the actual throw. So when we throw our dart, like I said, our foundation is set, so that's going to make sure that our body is staying still. You want to keep that still, and then up top when we throw, we only want to move at the elbow. We don't want shoulder movement up or down or anywhere on our backswing or our throw. We want to try to make sure that we're only bending at the elbow. Okay, so if you watch... I'm only bending at the elbow. Only bending at the elbow. My shoulder isn't having any movement. Once again, this is going to help with our consistency and, well, just overall making sure that we can get better with our darts throw. Because when you have a lot more movement, once again, this goes back to what I said earlier. The more movement you have, the more room there are for mistakes. So only move at the elbow. And the last thing we're going to talk about here is your follow through. Every single sport or game that involves throwing, a follow through is so important. So in darts, it is no different. You need to make sure that you are having a full follow through and a consistent follow through. An easy way to make sure that you are following through is just by pointing at your target when you throw. So I'm gonna get rid of my dartboard here so you can see my hands. I'm gonna pretend, well not pretend, I am gonna aim at the bullseye and I'm gonna point at it every time that I throw. Now, more advanced dart players, when it comes down to this, usually you're not going to see them point at their target because they just have a fluid motion. They come down and grab their dart. And eventually, you will get to that point. But being a new dart player, make sure you're exaggerating your point because that's going to help you with your follow-through once you eventually have that fluid motion. Because a lot of times when I don't see full follow-throughs, it's due to... Uh, Go, going too quick. They're not extending their arm and then they're already coming down and grabbing their dart. So exaggerate that point to start. So I'm going to point at that bullseye when I throw. I'm striking my pose. Point, strike my pose. My darts are in the way. I know you can't see them, so I got to move over a little bit here. Point at that target. So I got two 25s in there. So pointing at your target is just going to help with your follow through and help you with your accuracy. So that's it, guys. We're going to get one more throw here. I'm going to point at that triple 20 and miss it, but I do have a full follow through. So you need to make sure. Right, there we go. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is what I think to be the most important basics for a beginner dart thrower. But more importantly than any of the mechanics is the fact that you need to have fun when you throw darts. Because when you're having fun, it's going to encourage you to play more. It's going to encourage you to want to get better. If you start trying to challenge yourself too much with darts, you're not going to have fun doing it. And there's a good chance that you're going to end up just, well, stop throwing. So that's it for this one, guys. Some video should have popped up over here. Click one, click them both. Uh, BullshotDarts.com. Grab your new favorite dart shirt. Hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you all in the next one. And shoot well.